Hello everyone and welcome to Ace Combat 7. Let me mute my phone. Um, so I'm trying to get the uh, PlayStation to actually load my strap, but it's being slow. So we'll have to go on the phone. Welcome, Sovereign. Um, today, we're doing the Torres Saga on uh, Ace Difficulty, and we're going to try and get the S rings. Um, so, I'll just restart the PlayStation. Give me a second here. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started. Rules are the same as the, the normal missions. Um, I have to try three shots before I get to bring in the shock missiles. Um, but any other weapon is fair game. Hey, Alex. I've almost finished writing the summary for the report. And we're going for S ranks. Perfect. So wish me luck. I'm gonna can't need it. I'm still unconvinced. So here's a question for you, Alex. How can we do this without killing three strikes? Easy, don't kill me. Spencer still hasn't recovered? He has, but the doctor won't let him fly. <laughs> Just as much. How much longer are you gonna make me wait? This is self-important stuff. Here, it really is quite important. We're connected. Ready now, sir. I love Fusion. <sighs> Calling him I'm Brigadier General Howard stiff. Clemens. I'm in charge of this operation. Our objective is to capture an advanced submarine in harbor at Artiglio. The port of Artiglio and the surrounding oil facilities were mostly destroyed by another air operation. Oh, that port. Seems like such a long time ago. You've been there? However, Erujian forces repaired the facilities and used them to resupply and maintenance a massive submarine. Here's a question. Uh, How long do you think this submarine is? Slowly. Okay, well. If you guess 495 meters, you're right. It also has a width of 160 Oh well, meters. I'll just to follow it's it on my phone. 810,000 tons. Can I? It's a supersized nuclear submarine powered by two liquid metal cooled reactors. I guess it really is huge. So who's the quiz show host? David North. I'm an OIA analyst from Advanced Weapons Analysis. Why isn't he here? Okay, so the There's chat will at least follow, but I don't have vision on a vision on a PlayStation. <laughs> Fun! We've got ourselves an armchair detective. Continue. I've come to call this super submarine. Uh, the how's the video on your end? My phone looks to be doing all right. Like a carrier. It also boasts some serious firepower with its two main rail guns. But how's it for you guys? It's over 400 kilometers. A real monster. The sub's force projection capabilities are equivalent to a carrier strike group. Furthermore, it can approach underwater or use aircraft and railguns to attack outside the enemy's range. It has an unusual history befitting such a ship. It was launched four years ago. However, it went MIA on a sea trial after being outfitted. It was later found at the bottom of the ocean by chance. Another 356 crewmen, 330 were rescued. Oh, I might just... Here's the question. The For how many days was the Alicorn underwater? It was 698 days. Whoa. They were down there two years? They were on the seafloor at 15 degrees. So why are they deploying into the front lines now? I suspect it has to do with the loss of an arsenal bird and the IRBM cluster. Huh. Okay. So we just blow up the damn thing? We capture it. 
Don't make me repeat myself. We've had reports from local sources that there are weapons of mass destruction aboard the Alicorn. Source. If we can secure that evidence, we'll gain advantage in the peace negotiations post-war. The Ocean Navy has dispatched a fleet, including a landing ship, to capture the Okay, Alicorn. so I think for this, mission is to secure air superiority I want to use the laser. The capture task force. So I'm not sure if I should if use the Falcon, we'll the, sun. the Raven, the will commence its action while we or SU-37 slash F-15. The Morgan's laser doesn't last that is none of your concern. long enough. So basically, Seems working? Okay. And it's my PlayStation's Twitch app that's going crazy. You should have taught how to address superiors I'm switching to the Xbox to see if that works. Will be deployed. But, uh... ESM will be a valuable asset. If worse Stay comes worse, range, I'll just you'll have, a have my phone up. Your the ETA for the EW aircraft is the same as HF. Only Strider Squadron will sort you. Well, I have to sit this one out? Wait, Wiseman, you're not coming? I'll be assisting the Brigadier General at HQ. This is by no means a difficult mission. Your squadron commander's absence shouldn't change that. Yeah, I'll have to learn how to get chat overlays. Alright. Okay. So 30 lasers there, 30 lasers there. Um, let's go with the Raven. The Xbox is actually catching up. Uh, let's see here. Uh, take that off. Ah, wish me luck. It's a requiem. Set off as soon as we're ready. Quick, play spot the protagonist. Here we go. Do it with a bang. Understood. Shit. What's up? Friendly aircraft and EWA 
aircraft will arrive five minutes late. What? Retreat and wait for backup. Retreat not authorized. Gain air superiority at once. Trigger, what now? Be not. Yeah, that's right. Actually, my trigger would probably be a bunch of maniacal laughing. God, I love this laser mod. <laughs> Brings it back to Ace Five's uh, damage. In other words, back to the way it's supposed to be. Good old beam spam of death. Sweep the skies like a scout. Yep, and in fact, uh, the color mod I have on is called Dark Saber after the Star Wars thing. See? Beep spam of death. That would have been way too close if it wasn't for trigger. Receiving support from ESM. Oh, there's more. Now, 
the ones on the uh, east side of the map have a little bit of defense against the lasers. Against the cloud. So I'll have to actually engage those in dogfight. Stop hiding in clouds! What Harriers? Warrior destroyed. <laughs> nice work. Those fighters are after the fleet. Take care of the rest. I don't even have time for a snack on this operation. You just wait. I'll get you a break in a second. Thanks. The rings are fitting. At last, the light at the end of the tunnel. I don't see no Harriers. Count can handle that. Entering ESM range. On him. Come at me, bro. Catch me if you can. I should have switched with lungs on it. Strider 2, Bucks 2. All aircraft be advised. Enemy strike fighters are on the approach. They're fullbacks. Definitely faster than the ones before. Oppose a serious threat. Take them down. Right up. Trigger, let's get this done quick. Did you see that? Splash an enemy EW aircraft. Nice kill count. We'll go over that one during debriefing. Right now. All enemy EW aircraft confirmed destroyed. That's good news. That's it. Trigger splashed a fighter. Pass the third checkpoint. We're halfway there. Alright. Oh, the laser is so much fun. This is the real reason why the Gruger planes are so powerful. No, exactly, no kills quite like overkill. Oh yeah, um, I uh, have a mod that gets rid of the Birkin and replaces it with the S-32. I have blessed symmetry! Done.
Ah, the Grunder planes with the full power of the laser. I'm still looking for a mod that brings the uh, Morgan's burst missile back up to full strength, but I haven't found that yet. Too far away. Hostile eliminated. That's the way to do it. Additional hostiles confirmed. Hostile has a We're detecting surface to ship weapons teams around the sub. Eliminate them. Let the LRSSC take care of the enemy aircraft. Missile away. Fox 2. Our allies are keeping them busy. Now's our chance to attack. Three or about less than four minutes left to go, and we're already at 57,000 points. So that's 7,000.5. And we've still got 15 lasers left. <laughs> I'm spawn camping with the laser. <laughs> Oh, you made it to the clouds. Oh, you came out of the clouds. It's bad for you. This reticle that Jerry had uh, made makes it a lot easier for me to line up the laser shots. I just have to get into that uh, uh, little square.
entering ESM range. One minute remaining. Uh, 73,000. Not bad. And we still have 10 lasers to go. Did we? Did they run out of spawns? Yes. <laughs> Good job. Clean sweep for the skies, everybody. <laughs> I mean, almost. We did secure a superiority. There's nothing left. Now I can finally have my sausage rolls. Of course, anything other than finger food would get in the way of my duties. The clue was what she meant. Took longer than I expected. I'll be leaving now. We take command from here on. Well done, pilot. Ah, she's moving. I don't even need to reset the checkpoint. Confirming the launch of submarine-based aircraft. I've got Four ten miles. lasers. It appears one of them is carrying a cruise missile. What? Should have went to the clouds first. Seems he was down by three strikes. The damn bastard ruined it. Captain, don't you see? He walked all over it with his dirty boots over the crisp white sheets of my bed that I had just made. Stupid erosion raptor being invincible because the mission's over. Here we go. Okay, if I don't get an S rank, I'm gonna flip my lid. The operation has been completed. Stand by for further orders. Hold on. We still don't know who those bats were. Why were they after Trigger? They were using OCS radio frequency. You mean they're on our side? Impossible. They didn't respond to our IFF. Or maybe they were there to settle a personal score. There's nothing unusual Not about being shot story. in the back by an Guess it might have been that way where we came from, but by no one on the island trigger decided that the Taurus trader that's enough to come from the call. Wait, wait, don't hang up on me. Um because we had intelligence on their I'm pretty sure Taurus handpicked crew that were loyal. They didn't know. Um they have a spy to him and not to Ruja. Suspicious than not, I suppose. At the very least, we'll have to assume that part of his cult of personality. S rank.
Now for the other Another annihilation question, mission. Alex. Captain Mateus Torres, the captain of the Alicorn. What is his goal? I'm not worried about Anchorhead Ray getting us rank, because I can just shock bomb and laser that with the Falcon. Um, the one I'm worried about is 10 million relief plan. Alex, can you be more? I don't know how to do that. What do you mean? S rank on Ace. Make me a collage of tours without the shock missiles. Work freely. Keep my hypothesis. But we got three chances to do it. Life taken by cheap kills of forward projectional sea power. No good. Yeah, the hunt for an October. Alex. All I right, mean, let's go hunt on. for the Alicorn. Try to be a little more sensuous. Monstrous. 16,752. <laughs> and salvation of passivity. Okay. Vulgarity of six. Yeah, uh, I actually years. saw good. some post on the internet where somebody made a Will movie poster retaliation. of the hunt for Red October, but it was the hunt for the Alicorn. 160 millimeter and where massacre is I, I have to refine that planning. and put it on More Discord. Because that made me laugh my ass off. Salvation of 10 million, an elegant massacre but instead of Ramius's face, it Stop. was Torres's. Uh, correct, or is it? Let me see if I can find that real quick. David, I've built a model of Captain Torres and three strikes based on your hypothesis and mission parameters. From the Here it is. I ran a precision combat simulation, but it failed. Bummer. Why didn't it work? Reasons in sensuous order are one. I don't know who trash. made it because the, the source was wasn't added. Uh, but, uh, did I do something to tick you off? Three. Captain Torres is a singularity. So the values diverge. There, it's on the Discord the photo one? gallery. Four. Three strikes is a singularity. That's outside the confidence interval. The possibility that it's one, two, or three is ninety-nine percent. What? Significance is high. Hmm. Try this. It, I found it on Google uh, with uh from this is three strikes data I before funny or to LRSSG. So who knows where the original author was? But I I left my ass off when I first met. Also, since we're using the Falcon, the uh the Erusian military mimic hunts, is its remaining naval Our mimic fight's going to be hilariously short. Apparently, <laughs> they're even bringing in ships from the Mothball fleet. This is probably to reinforce their naval power in preparation for the showdown in Farbanti. We've received intel that the Alicorn will also be joining them. From which source, Brigadier General? There's a possibility the Alicorn's former crew have been tasked with sabotage. Your job is to analyze the enemy's weaponry. From now on, Speak only when authorized. I don't hear a response. May I be authorized to speak first, sir? <laughs> when we're done, I'll be talking to your superiors. Here's your mission. LRSSG is to raid Anchorhead, carry out airstrikes on Anchor Bay to the north, and Dockyuk Bay to the south. Oh, I love to hate possible damage. If we can strip the port of its naval functions, we can also prevent the submarine from joining forces. The area around Anchorhead is Erusian territory. To delay hostile detection, you will sortie in small numbers and make your way in at super low altitudes. Small sortie. Who's going? Count, Lanza, Hoosian, and Trigger. Four aircraft from Strider Squadron will be deployed. 
Welcome. All right, I got this. To cover our lack of numbers, we're giving you plenty of opportunities to resupply. Look here. We've set up multiple return lines. Make full use of them to resupply and change up. When I first saw that also map with the three return lines, I was like, oh, yeah. yes! Use this the Amerian in me was very I happy. That should make things much easier. It should also raise it's like, the survival. I can abuse them. <laughs> the elements of and not have to and put, put, are the I, I didn't have to worry about putting carts on for uh, we don't need an takeoff system. weight. I could to say? put it all into Good. power. Brigadier General. That is all. David, go on. Let me share the career of Mateus Torres, captain of the submarine Alicorn. Does anyone know how his people hailed him? A bit unfair to provide us with next to no hints, don't you think? <laughs> Fair enough. The hero of Cumberth Harbor is the answer. He was a captain of the battleship Tanagir at the time of the Continental War. It led Egir fleet, the Invincible Armada. But when the fleet was destroyed at Cumberth Harbor, so was his ship. Yet, he's the hero? He was able to bring most of his crew home with accurate damage control. And now, the true hero of Cumberth Harbor. Then there's the accident with Is Mobius One. Many believe that if they stay with him, they'll live. Uh, yes, so we sunk the Tanager. Unusual. However, considering as Mobius One, along with the fact that the Alicorn is no ordinary submarine, it all makes sense. <sighs> It'll be a difficult mission to carry out with four aircraft. Still, and in I fact, like uh, the the little briefing did missions. note that the like, Tanager was even harder. Thought. I want a hundred percent survival rate for the sword. Any but, other number and the mission will be considered a failure. Uh, Torres was able to keep most of his crew alive. Instead of, you know, trapped at the bottom of the battleship. Oh no, submarine, I feel that he never people would just stare at him for a second because shit. That, it's been around since the seventies. Yeah, we got the 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 Dragonet class, the Synfaxi, the uh, Rimfaxi. Now the Alicorn. It's like, Jesus, man, this is strange. We have super weapons out the ass. All right, we're going to start with the shock bombs and go to the laser. It's not normal, but it's not usually, yeah. We'll take um, the war dog skin. Excuse me. I can almost touch the water. Altitude restriction lifted. Begin up. The food at this party served buffet style. God, I love that Big giant size. Luco, I'll eat their hearts out. Sorry, Trigger, but the Jersey targets are all mine. Last time. This is gonna be a walk in the park. It's a good warm up to get back in the game. AA defense. 
that system was destroyed before it was activated. This will make things easier later. Systems from enemy air defense is confirmed. Keep on dining. Just don't pay for it. Righto! Begin firing SAMs! I don't think I already won, I know. I said I'd wait for the shock business. I never said anything about shock. Change the color of this one because I like the blue lightsaber look. is coming from the northwest. There are large numbers. Eight SU 37s. I got more than just half. Hostile ships approaching from the southeast. It's a large fleet with Aegis vessel Metis and battleship Dysnomia numbering among them. We're to fight a pristine fleet? After all that? Mm. Let's do this. Bridge to CIC. Multiple smoke plumes from the port. If it weren't for the bad weather, we would be caught there. Prepare for anti-air combat. I love this uh, soundtrack. Anchorhead Raid, in my opinion, is the best of the Alec Horn trilogy. <laughs> the real myth. I'm sorry, sir. It's fascinating. Yeah. There goes the fleet! All right, laser time. Strider one, this is control tower. The runway is clear. Ludicrous. 
Does like illusion. Analysis shows a projectile with a railgun shell. Currently determining the launch site. They're shooting from beyond the horizon. That's why they need the UAV for terminal guidance. I love that blue laser. We produced enough to enemy forces. It's we're seventy thousand. Respect, respects, sir. I do believe he destroyed. killed the ball. Awesome. Keep it up, Trigger. Detecting shell in flight. Ten seconds to contact. Three strikes. Performing well above our expectations. Uh, you sound downright ecstatic. All right, Trigger, let's go get him. I've killed so much so fast that, uh, the game is is having trouble keeping up. Oh, that's when you know you're having fun. I do feel sorry for that erosion port officer. Because she's just, you know, trying to do her job, and holy shit, three strikes is here wrecking everything. I hope she survived. Contacts. Additional hostile aircraft detected. Target 
been shot down. Five minutes remaining. <laughs> Locked on, man. All right, now it's just uh, ramping up the score. Point farming. Yep. Detecting enemy air reinforcements on radar. Strider one, also launched. Band it down. Warning, enemy has a beat on you. Made it. Strider one, this is control tower. I've got a sitting duck here. Strider one, off on target. Fox two. Target hit. Thanks. I do you have my back, Trigger. Scratch one. I got gotcha. you. Stupid drone. Detecting enemy air reinforcements on radar. Strider one, bandit destroyed. Radar contacts. Additional hostile aircraft detected. Hello, Lord Farquaad. We are doing good. Um, thanks to certain enhancements, my laser is um, the same as Ace Five's laser, and we're just racking up the score. How are you doing? <laughs> Hello, Gia. Welcome to stream. Yeah, um, I do have on the tags mods and ape. So, 
Oh, yeah. I, I had to uh, break out the shock pistols in order to S rank face a soldier. I hate that S ranking that mission. So I feel your pain. I like the second part of the mission because that's I mean, the music, um, the fact that Spare Squad starts um, uh, What am I still lacking for Platinum? Um, for single player S ranking everything on Ace. I don't have any multiplayer trophies because of all my enhancements. Um. But yeah, uh, technically I don't need to be doing the DLC to get s strings for it on Ace, but I'm doing it anyway because it's content, it's fun, and I did it with uh, no damage run. Yeah, it gives me flight time and points. But yeah, the rules are, I have to give the mission three chances before I pull, pull out Fenrir shock missiles, which will just annihilate everything. So third time's well technically the fourth time's the charm. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, chill. Stinger, stand down. Sit. Shit, my cola. The fleet at Anchorhead was eliminated. After the chat for uh, joining forces, lots of cola. aircraft were shot down too. The mission was a complete success. Complete success, my ass. Brigadier General, it sure seemed to me like the bats knew you pretty damn well. You seem to be confused. Report in for a medical check. We'll decide if you're still fit for service based on the examinations. Cut it. That's enough. Get the MP. He's right. Get the MP. Vice Chairman Edwards of the Joint Chiefs of Staff? The Alicorn slipped into Anchorhead Bay after the mission was completed, using the confusion for cover. It resupplied quickly and escaped unharmed. Their goal was not to join forces. It was to resupply using the window we created by chasing away the Erosion forces. We did their bidding, Boom. albeit unknowingly. But the problem runs deeper than our lack of tactical acumen. Analyst North, explain for us. Of the crew caught in the submarine accident, 330 men made it back alive. Of them, As, 300 well, are still in the sub today. Our intel has led he's us got people on the inside. The left the sub are now working as agents for the Alicorn. Sabotage, espionage, cyber propaganda, dissemination of false intel. Brigadier General, do you recognize the name Edgar Saxon or Zool, as he used to go by? He is a former member of the Alicorn's crew and your source of intel. You are a fool, Brigadier General Clemens. Not only that, the radio communications during the mission suggest... Well, no, it's traitor. not. That's how so we were able to figure it out. General Shepard, you'll understand that this is all just a misunderstanding. The Lieutenant General claims you were responsible for handling all aspects of the mission. Now, let me say that again. But they're only in and out for ten no minutes, for I think. Piece of shit. Woohoo! 
Go Hoosian! S rank! We've acquired important intel from the mission. For Brownie example, best. the shells from long range anti I prefer Hoosian, but yes, Brownie is entries. Brownie is a good Look. girl. She was taken before her time. Is 500 megajoules at least. And I will never forgive me for that. Energy trajectory. Nor Skykeeper. Skykeeper got the Brownie killed. Main guns. It's almost like Stonehenge. A mobile Stonehenge. And also this. The Alicorn was in harbor at Anchorhead for approximately 10 minutes. They couldn't have She's loaded the SLBMs. The cared about they loaded something smaller. More or less. Smaller. What is smaller and yet a powerful weapon? Which is why she had to be taken out. Close. The answer is tactical nuclear shells. Nuclear shells? No way. Hey, hey, he got that question right. Nah. Trigger dropping FABs and Elmer. Quiet. Well, my FABs aren't FABs anymore. They're shock bombs. Their target's Ored, the Ocean capital. They want a nuclear war? Here's a question. Also, well, Trigger does, just doesn't drop doesn't them. Work. He Please, casually drops them. Like, Oops. Oh, only if terrorists have the nukes. Correct. It is yeah, better. Hey, well, I'm good at for me. But we're after an erosion submarine, not terrorists. No, he's right. Yep, drops them as soon as the come tells me Arusha's justification that. is that the Alicorn mutiny. <laughs> as such... The Erujian military cannot be held responsible for the submarine's actions. Damn. So they intend on dropping a nuke on the Ocean capital of Ulred. Here's a question for you, analyst. Just exactly who are we fighting? Correct term is terrorist or irregular military, but I have a different name for them. Psychopath. Enemy to be stopped at all costs. Correct. Y you know what I call that? Terrorists! Name like that, they ought to drop a nuke on it. Exactly. And don't give me that shit that Oski doesn't have nukes. Alright, this is gonna be the challenging. Some individuals are exempt from rules that should apply to everyone. A hero is suddenly a risk factor the moment the war is over. So you murder him. Crude, but effective. Of course, it's a In reality, he probably is. Living heroes, just probably like medicated up the ass. Here's a question, Alex. Can we stop? Captain Mateus Torres. Depends on if you treat the captain or three strikes as a singularity. Both are. What happens when two singularities exist on the same field? That requires seven months of calculation with current resources. We'll just have to trust the guys in the field. David, evacuate. No, I still have to finish up here. Unstoppable forests against immovable object. What wins? Or will they both destroy themselves? The Erujian military finally sent part of the Alicorn specs. Its basic capabilities listed here were as we predicted. What's interesting is this over here. In addition to main guns, they have a 600 millimeter, 128 caliber rail cannon. The barrel exceeds 70 meters. Its range is over 3,000 kilometers. That matches what we calculated from the bombardment on Anchorhead Bay. The mini nuke they seem to have obtained has a yield of one kiloton. It'll destroy anything within a 400 meter radius of ground zero. Casualties are to be in the tens of thousands. I know some things are better left unsaid, but let me say it. That's yeah. Less damage than I expected. Nice catch. It's speech. nice that they put in both Imperial and uh, the means to end this metric war units. In a and elegant manner. The world shall be horrified by the number of lives we will take. 
Only then will they let go of their weapons. Weapons that would have taken the lives of 10 million. The imagery invoked by those words and the actual predicted damage just don't match. So, here's a question. <laughs> Sorry, got no quizzes for you today. They will launch the nuke on September 19th. Why are you so sure? Because that's the anniversary of the end of the Continental War. Anti-war demonstrations and victory parades are in full swing in Ored. There's about a million participants in total. That number will rise on the anniversary. To this, yep. However, this news now, I don't, I still don't understand why there'd be celebrations yeah. of the Continental War's ending right. in Alred. If it was the end of the Circum Pacific War, that would totally make sense. Because Osea was in that. Alright, look at this. The Alicorns expected course. We know it was off Anchorhead Bay. The only thing I can think of is there's a bunch of expats in uh Alred. detected by Osea. Allies sound surveillance system because they annex half the use. Taking into account its maximum operating depth, this is the only possible route. The Alex I mean, the technically, the yes, and reach a rather blandly named body of water called PX 8443. The waters here are shallow, not officially, range, nearby but ice. through the IUN, you can be. say that. Yeah, we also know roughly when they'll arrive in the area. Quite the prediction you have. As he was tainted. Yeah, else he was kind of tangentially involved in the 98 war. depth is 600 meters. Tracking it would be impossible. Right. Now I'm going to give you the mission details. So listen up. Our mission is to They're probably funding the uh using the allied first forces. Phase of the mission, multiple patrol aircraft will drop sono buoys to build a sono buoy barrier. Then, the Did that one also end on September 19th? The location of the Alicorn by analyzing the data obtained from the I know a lot of things happen on September 19th. Results of our analysis will be data linked and shown on an overlay on your radars. And for the final phase, Trigger, you're going to look for the submarine. We acquired one special MAD, a magnetic anomaly detector for this. It'll be on it's Trigger okay. Plan. It's a Fly good theory. It would make more Alicorn sense IP. than uh, the, the ice out. Right you. Your MAD will detect it. You'll also have nautical charts on your radars, so use them. Once it's found, our fleet will commence a unified attack with ass rocks and sink it. And if we miss, <laughs> he said ass. Four ships will be joining the operation. There won't be a second salvo. I'm so, 12, by the way. Everyone Mentally. except myself. Well, this is in order. Now get your fat asses moving. He said ass again. All right. So, question is, what weapons should we use? We can use the shock bombs, the laser, or cruise missiles. The advantage of the shock bombs and laser, or uh, cruise missiles are... M no, not MGP. Fuck that. I already did a, a machine gun only run. You actually can't beat the Alicorn with machine guns only. You, at least I wasn't able to get to the core in time. Curious about, okay, we can take the shock bombs. I couldn't get the core in time. I had to use missiles. And chat let me use missiles. <laughs> okay, let's get But history witnesses great change. Roz Grease reveals itself. It smells like cows. <laughs> More like I had to get the stream moving. <laughs> It'll only take you 10 hours. I didn't have that long.
All right, the hard part about this one is going to be the keeping Spectre alive. The laser would have been a lot more useful for that part. I still think the most useful enhancement I have is the ability to put multiplayer parts in the campaign. That humble little enhancement mod has made tremendous amounts of difference. Guidance. Last one. I figured we'd lose at least one. Cross. Yep, he's right just as the hunt started. We're using shock bombs. This is the first time we've done it.
There we go. Picking up a magnetic signature. Signature lost. I'm seeing strong noise in the MAD signal. Seems like this is our contingency. Uh, which was good. Uh, I didn't see anybody any problem with bots or anything like that. You're a bullet? Oh, that's cool. How... How'd you do? Pretty good. <laughs> I think. Because I think a perfect game is 300. So 207's pretty good. If, if I understand the rules right. Oh yeah, doing it for fun is a lot more fun than, you know, being competitive about it. Okay. Start from checkpoint. <laughs> Shock bombs! All aircraft, cease fire. That's a con man talking. I should know. Let's just sink it. Negative. We cannot attack those that have surrendered. That's a breach of international law. Although I don't think we got the rail guns, so that's bad. Weapon use is prohibited. I hold international law so dearly. We'll no longer be soldiers the moment we don't. Then I'll happily quit. Might have actually killed him too fast. Attack. We'll have to see. Yeah, if only we could save the Allied ships. Well, technically, they're still up. They're still floating. Captain, we've already jammed the terminal gun and system over all red. Your shot will miss the mark. I think they're just crippled. It's okay. The shell 
will miss. That's a blatant violation of orders, you dumbass. Look at this show. All aircraft, destroy the alicorn. Oh, you're jamming me? Okay. Oh no, nope, fuck, ow, shit. How did that not kill me? I don't know. Alright. This will be close. Yeah. I, I thought on Ace I was dead. Back at the water so it counts on its bounce. The Alicorn's hole is severely damaged. No, it's completely split in two. We pulled it off. That's our final answer. We'll see if we, uh... We might have killed it too fast. But we'll, we'll see. Yeah, see, the ships are still there. Being sprayed with radioactive waste. Yay! Radioactive rain! Now comes the moment of truth. Did we get an S rank or is it just an A rank? Place your bets. Operation.
mission is complete. Can we celebrate now? Yeah. Good work. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! The next mission's in 32 hours. Excuse me. Whoa. Not something I'll tell my son about. Give me a break. S rank! We did it! And we didn't have to use the shock bombs. We used the lasers and shock... Or, we didn't have to use the shock missiles. Laser and shock bombs instead. I'm good, Alex. Won't need that wake-up call think there's in two no hours anymore. Minus. I know, right? David, only the summary is fine. Give me the report ASAP. <clears throat> I'll hand it to the president. That's why I haven't slept in the last 80 hours. 78 hours and 52 minutes. Okay. Well, now to the conclusion. Assuming that three strikes is a singularity, why not terminate him? There is a fact that has been observed in all of the missions three strikes has taken part in. All dependent elements that either mimic or follow the subject have increased chances of survival. Try to be more sensuous. Go Trigger's way, he'll make it. He leads the way. Really? Significance is high. <laughs> That's uncharacteristic of you. Eats a burger with a fork. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that really how you laugh? I don't know. Maybe if the burger is so big, it literally you literally can't hold it. I I, I could see Longcaster ordering a burger the size of his head. David gonna turn Alex into his own beauty, quite possibly. That, but that's a different dish. It's a hamburger plate. Maybe that's what Longcaster had. I don't know. All right. We'll go ahead and do um, one normal mission. Cape Rainy Assault. But that will be the last mission for today. Loss of an arsenal bird, followed by the destruction of their ballistic missile base. Arusha is running out of ways to counter. This is a great opportunity for the Ocean Army to bolster our power to eventually take down the Erusian capital of Farbanti. The special long-range strategy is entering its final phase. Our objective is to attack and capture the Erusian Air Force Base in Cape Rainy in northern Erusia. This important base is at the forefront of our strategy to establish control of Farbanti. Under the cover of night, our plan is that all squadrons will invade from the valley to the south and mount an air assault on the area. The enemy's observation field has eyes on the skies above the valley, so your altitude will need to be restricted. If you go over a certain altitude, the enemy could spot you, ending the mission in failure. Ah, yes. The canyon run arrive, mission. You are to take out the enemy's air defense forces. It wouldn't be an ace combat game without a canyon run. When the air defense forces are neutralized, the helicopter squadron should arrive carrying Marines. The plan is to take control of the base. Getting through the valley is only half the job. I do love this mission. Canyon Run is actually pretty fun, and uh, then it's just curb stomping the base. Oh, but before, uh, Megalith sent me a, a mod that replaces the SC-47 Cursed Asymmetry with the S-32 Blessed Symmetry. Isn't it cool? 
<laughs> no, like, no cursed asymmetry anymore. Only blessed symmetry. <laughs> yeah, let's go with this. Um, I don't know if it was a preview or not, but Megalith gave it to me. It basically is just a, a, a Viz mod swap. Everything else about it is the same. Even the cockpit's the same of the uh, SU-47. All right. One, you have passed through waypoint one. No weapons until you reach the enemy base. All aircraft reduce altitude. We have altitude restrictions from here on out. Keep altitude below 600 meters. Good. Maintain your current course. Searchlight up ahead. Watch for it. Stay out of their sight. Uh, you don't want to go to the bank? Then don't go, but do you need to go to the bank? Kaboom! If you have to go to the bank, you need to go to the bank. Yeah, I know. Adulting sucks. It looks like the enemy's air defenses are online. Yes, they 
Yeah. Project Greenman has orange, Ace Combat has blue. Yeah, it is. I, I have a blue light filter on my phone. It's so much e so much better on my eyes. Wake the base commander! Everything's dead! Here we go! Another blue! Hold your fire! No! I won't hold my fire! Summon the ace. Where are you going? Party's just start. No one said he could leave. Now I wonder, can I kill those spotlights over here? I can't! That's hilarious. This is Basilis One. The base is ours. We have control of all major functions. Well, the pizza was on time. Roger that, Basilis One. Mission accomplished. All prisoners of war will be treated in accordance with international law. We've even brought pizza. Looks like they can shred those wheels. Also, does the skin look awesome? I think it's by Orion. It's got like blue lightning effects. And the fact that it's a marriage means I had to go. Uh, Mav, this is a taxiway.
There we go. Strider one, you have passed through waypoint. This should be an S rank. Excellent work on the night raid. Submarines have arrived from the Ocean mainland and are refueling. This base will serve as a frontline platform for our mission to take Farbanti. We're almost at the end of this operation. S-Rank. Alright, that will be it for today. Uh, We'll probably be streaming tomorrow morning. I have not figured out what we're going to be streaming yet. It could be The Witcher. It could be this. It could be Project Wingman. It could be Dragon Age 2. It could be Mass Effect. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, but uh, Monday will be Dragon Age 2. Wednesday will be Mass Effect 2. Um, Friday, The Witcher. And next week... Um, we will hopefully finish the Ace S-Rank run. Starting with Battle for Farbanti. Last Hope's going to be a problem. Same with Homeward for a little bit because of the unknown targets. And everything else should be relatively easy. Um, but thank you all for joining me. I hope you had fun. Because I know I certainly did. Um, and I will see you all probably tomorrow. Have a great weekend, everybody.